Nicolas Cage, playing a notorious criminal named Hero, who must break an evil curse in order to rescue an abducted girl who has mysteriously disappeared. This movie is a mixture of random ideas that never come together. It's a sensory overload that's muddled, messy, ridiculous, and makes absolutely no sense. It never manages to rise to the level of its cast or premise. The premise and world building largely feel wasted on a movie that doesn't live up to either. The story is completely incomprehensible. The movie actually overwhelms you with story elements, and yet somehow things never get any clearer. The narrative is both underdeveloped and overexplained. There are copious flashbacks, dream sequences, and even a scene involving a literal slideshow presentation on the horrors of toxic waste. All this do is serve to complicate what should be a straightforward story. This isn't always a bad thing, as there are plenty of genre flicks where the narrative is just an excuse for cool action scenes, but unfortunately, that's not the case here. Time and time again, just when the movie gets interesting, something happens to ruin that. Either the film changes tonal direction, the plot moves away from its current goal, or a character does something out of step. In theory, this erratic, unpredictable pacing is meant to keep the audience guessing and engaged. In practice, it undercuts and undermines the goodwill the film starts to gain. There's barely any internal logic or rules or even stakes to make this jumble of genre tropes remotely interesting. The director's gift for visual style is certainly on display, but it's all in the service of a flat piece of storytelling. Arguably, the main draw of this movie is Nicolas Cage, but his performance is disappointing. The actor sets out to self-consciously parody a stereotypical action hero, but with no emotional conviction. For the most part, he's just angry, but not the kind of fun angry that makes a B-movie enjoyable. We are told he's one of the most dangerous men on the planet, but even with his undeniable charisma, we don't get that sense. We have to wade through needlessly long exposition and far too many weird for the sake of weird moments to get to the end. Very quickly, the film loses any sense of focus. Overall, the whole movie just ends up feeling messy. It's simply a jumbled mess. We do not recommend this movie at all.